acute angle of the knee. A well-functioning knee joint is important for mobility. The knee must be able to support the weight of the body during activities such as walking or running. A normal alignment of the knee is important for its function. The Q angle of the knee provides useful information about the alignment of the knee joint. What is a Q angle? Q angle is the quadriceps angle. The Q angle is the angle between the quadriceps tendon and the patellar tendon. An increased Q angle is a risk factor for patellar subluxation. How do you measure the Q angle? The Q angle quadriceps angle is formed in the frontal plane by two line segments. The first line is drawn from the anterior superior iliac spine, ASIS, to the center of the patella. A second line is drawn from the center of the patella to the tibial tubercle. The angle formed by the two lines is called the Q angle. So how do we do that? Find the patella and its border. Find the center of the patella. Find the tibial tubercle. Draw a line from the ASIS anterior superior iliac spine to the center of the patella and the second line from the tibial tubercle through the center of the patella. The normal Q angle is variable. In extension, the normal Q angle for males is usually 14 degrees and in females it is approximately 17 degrees in flexion, the Q angle is approximately 8 degrees. A wider pelvis and an increased Q angle in females is linked to knee pain, patellofemoral pain, and ACL injury. Here is an example of a normal Q angle, and here is an example of an excessive Q angle. The alignment of the patellofemoral joint is affected by the patellar tendon length and the Q angle. It is best to measure the Q angle with the knee in extension as well as flexion. Larger Q angle plus a strong quadriceps contraction can dislocate the patella. Q angle is increased by genovalgum, external tibial torsion, femoral antiversion, lateral position tibial tuberosity, tight lateral retinaculum. CT scan study of the patellofemoral articulation is found to be very helpful. One of the most common complications of total knee replacement is an abnormal patellar tracking. Preservation of a normal Q angle is important. An increased Q angle in the knee will lead to an increase in lateral subluxation forces on the patella, and that may lead to pain, wear, and mechanical symptoms. When you're doing a total knee, avoid the techniques that will cause increased Q angle, such as internal rotation of the femoral component or the tibial component. Thou shalt not internal rotate or avoid medialization of the femoral component. Avoid lateral placement of the patellar component. The patellar prothesis should be either placed in the center or slightly medial. Just remember, you will put the patella slightly medial, but you will put the femoral component opposite to that it will be slightly lateral. What is the measurable malalignment syndrome? Is it a term used to describe a triad of anatomic features or findings? And these are excessive femoral antiversion, the genovalgum, 
and external tibial torsion or pronated feet. Symptoms of the miserable malalignment syndrome include anterior knee pain, pain under the patella, or stiffness of the knee joint. When examining a patient for patellofemoral pain, alignment is important, including rotational alignment. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.